CFA, CFA, CFA. What? CFA, CFA. Give me the number one. Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to the Inside Wolves podcast, where we are your beacon for entertainment and enlightenment. My name's Q, and my co-host is your boy Juan, aka AJ, aka Juju. Back. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Yeah, it's your boy, Hefe. What's going on, everybody? How y'all feeling? Good. I'm feeling great. Ready good. to tackle the good. day and many more. How yeah, are you man. feeling? It's good, man. Uh, a little tired. A little tired. You know, they got got your boy going into work today, but it's what it is. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get through it. And here's the thing, that, you know what I'm saying? Now that you mention that, ain't no rest, nigga. No rest for the goats. <laughs> there is none. You you don't mm. that, that that's something you forfeit when you try to be the goat. Goat that, that sleep look, look right right there the on, goat, the neck, the right on the neck. G O A T. You know it. Greatest of all time. And today's mm-hmm. episode is about those men and women that lifestyle, that belief that you can be the greatest of all time. I want to talk about that. So in which case, let's talk about some goats. Period. Let's talk about them in all facets. You know what I'm saying? Athletics, fucking entertainment, music, just oh, any goat. You know what I'm saying? So let, let me ask y'all a couple of y'all goats. And I'm going to start off with two of mine. One, a comedic goat for me personally, and I think for a lot of people, it's pretty self, pretty obvious, it would be Dave Chappelle. Uh, that, that's a comedic, I think that would be, be the greatest great of all time, mm-hmm. like as far as comedy goes. And then that's another goat. Man. Uh, even though I'm an advocate for his close second, LeBron James, go to basketball. I gotta gotta give it to MJ, Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? His Aaron is number twenty three. Yeah, no, those are some good goats, man. I mean, shoot, great of all, great. Talking about comedy, man. Pretty I'm not good. gonna lie, man. Like, it's, it's that is that's a tough one because there's some really good ones out there, man. Um, Dave is definitely one of them. Um, personally, man. I can't I can't ignore Eddie, man. I think Eddie is definitely the greatest of all time in my mind. He's not my favorite per se, but mm-hmm. he's definitely the I think he is the greatest of all time. He definitely set like that that stepping stone for a lot of a lot of cats. Uh basketball wise, man. Kobe is my goat, man. Um that's my goal. It's just it's he he is one of them guys. It's just it's a freak of like freaking nature, but then also that mindset of having of mm-hmm. being the goat. That shit is so intensified. We can get into that a little later, man. Um that's just a couple of mine, you know what I'm saying? I know before, I got some. I was just about to say that's right before you go on, I was just about to say, Jamie, you made a great distinction there between your favorite and mm-hmm. unfiltered, un not unopinion, just this dude is he's that dude. This may be my favorite. But you got to give it up to the, the goat. Go ahead, Juan. You're a couple of your goats. Um, that's interesting because mine is is definitely not a comedian, but um, mine is a different MJ. And that's Michael Jackson. Oh like, yeah, as far as, like entertainment. Oh, yeah. The goat. Like, yeah, nah, Jackson, yeah. Bro. That's the goat. Nah, okay? yeah. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you like, okay, Annie? So if I was looking at it from that standpoint, just because of Ooh. just how monumental he was. Mm. But um, and then if it came out on like sports, I w- I would probably probably definitely say KD. So you know what? Because that's KD. Like, like I said, in my personal preference, that's my let's, goal. Let's talk because, about that though. You know. No, no, no. Go ahead. Let's talk. I was just about to say, man, open up. Like, what what does it really mean to be the greatest of all time? Yeah, like, what you said about KD. Go ahead and did that because so like, I'm because I'm curious about that. I don't you don't hear that too so often. So like pretty much everybody, we hear like. Kobe or LeBron or Michael Jordan or even players before them. But, like, for me, it's it's not about, like, as far as, like, the accolades come with it, but I'm thinking of, like, when you can truly master, like, your skill set and whatever mm-hmm. field you're in. And I feel like with, with Kevin Durant, because, like I said, that's my favorite player. So, like, with him being able to, like, just – like just the way he can just affect the game as far as like just by himself, like take mm-hmm. over a game in that standpoint, how I look at it makes you like the greatest of all time. If you can do it consistently, you know what I'm saying? I didn't see Jordan. So that's why he's not my goat or 
I mean, I've seen LeBron, but like hey, I was what? always more of a KD fan. I respect that. I respect yeah, yeah, that. I understand Cause, that. Because it's a lot of niggas that 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 never watched Jordan play, never seen, not even not even seen the highlights. You know what I'm saying? Like we didn't grow up in Jordan era, but yeah. we'll be die hard for Jordan. Um, you know what I'm saying? They they seen the last dance and 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 Jordan is, <laughs> yeah, all, is yeah, automatically exactly. <laughs> he's automatically the best all the time. You know what I'm saying? You can't beat mm-hmm. him. But oh, so I respect yeah. that. That's that's real interesting. And I agree with the fact that I personally think when it's all said and done, I can't say it yet because it's not done yet. But I think by the end of his career, K D it will be the greatest scorer ever. Yeah. Like the, the fact, think. like that, That's like exactly the fact that think. he can score from anywhere and it looks effortless from on everywhere, a, on anybody, on anybody, on anybody. It's insane. It's on absolutely any night nuts. after coming back from a <laughs> after coming back from an injury that ends careers. It's so easy. Like like it really just looks so easy. It just has he. It doesn't really matter how close you are. It pull up matter. anyway. It's a pull up anyway. <laughs> it's just yeah. No, I understand that. I get that. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, wholeheartedly, I get that. And uh, yeah. addressing just the Jordan thing is, well, I mean, addressing the whole Jordan thing is, yeah, I will say this. I said this when I said Jordan was the GOAT. I'm an advocate for LeBron because of exactly what you just said, those diehard, unwavering Jordan fans. Mm. Because people talk about LeBron's achievements in comparison to Jordan like they're just non-existent. They, they they just talk about it. They just go scrape right by all the great things he's done in, in comparison to Jordan and just put it under the rug like it's nothing. And every time he does do something somehow, and I got to I got even though I love him, I got to say Skip Bayless is a <laughs> he, he's the reason for this. The goalpost keeps moving every yeah. single time yeah. he does something. <laughs> you yeah. know, he hits a game winner. Oh, it wasn't a walk off. Oh, yeah. oh my God! Okay, up here it's another game winner. That is a walk off. It was the luckiest shot I've ever seen in my entire life. He was running away from the basket and banked it off the back. Oh, I, yeah. Come on, man! I didn't know there were rules to the game. Like, so people got to admit that LeBron is right there on his tail. I know, honestly, I gotta say that. I gotta say that. Yeah, you know, I hate to be that guy. You know? <laughs> I really, I really do. I really do. <laughs> But um, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, the kid from Akron is cool. You know, he's cool. He um he got some stats and everything. He did play mm-hmm. longer than than Jordan and Kobe. But, you know, that's um it's either here no there. Oh, I'm sorry, he played longer than, than Jordan. I don't think he played longer than Kobe yet. Maybe like at the same time right now. Cause what is this nineteen season or something like that? Yeah. I think he's played longer yeah, not, than Kobe. Has he played longer than Kobe? I um, think I don't know that for a fact, but it is year remember. nineteen, yeah. It is year nineteen. Year. Okay, so yeah, I mean, now you know, stats is is is, is crazy. Like it, it's amazing. Um, but like I said, I just I as a basketball like aficionado, like I I just cannot <laughs> ignore skill, man. I really can't. And mm-hmm. for me, like a lot of what a lot of players take in their game today. And, and 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 you know and progress and try to make new moves out of it's a lot of shit that that Mike was doing back then. And matter of fact, I'm gonna take it even further than Mike. Like I said, like I told y'all before, man. Like Dr. J is really should really get a lot of credit for what he did to the flashiness of basketball. Mm-hmm. Same with Magic as well too. But Dr. J really came before that. But he brought that that you know that that park style type basketball, like that N one type basketball feeling. Mm-hmm to the game that we see now like that flashiness and shit like that people was not doing that you know back then it was three dribbles with the right yeah, hand the yeah. uh, uh, uh <laughs> back up a little bit pass it to Bounce, your teammate the right the, the two-handed bounce pass yeah. <laughs> on the chest <laughs> they, they, they ain't they ain't never seen a lob but they ain't they like but 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 yeah i mean and then i can't even lie but you know i feel like the last dance definitely did intensify um jordan's goat Mm. Conversation. He put that shit out at the right time. Did it purposefully? Exact, he did. Purposely. Look, he he, he, he said knew he saw he Bron. Had to, <laughs> Bron won a championship. He said a word. Right. I. Yeah. I. Yeah, I. He, I said, he said yeah. He said yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me talk to y'all about how I drive. Cause listen, though, even the stories, but even just hearing the stories, and I can't wait for the LeBron one because it, it might, you know, my feelings might change when LeBron one come out, and the same thing with Kobe. It might change when the Kobe one come out, but um, you know. 
uh, his mindset, yo, like and the things that they said that he said to people, like even on the court in practice, it's just like, yo, like that's the GOAT mindset right there too. Mm-hmm. That is it right there. And that you cannot be the GOAT without having that particular mindset. You know what I'm saying? Jordan played 15 seasons. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And every single time he went to the, the finals, closed well, down. Every single time. LeBron, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he got four championships, but he'd been there, like, what, I think. Like nine times. <laughs> nine, yeah. Like, yeah he's so, been there, like, nine times. And and they both played in very, very tough eras. Like, the, the early 2000s, like, 2000 to 2010, that, that was a te- cra- crazy era. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, it was a lot of good people, you know what I'm saying, that go unnoticed. You're talking about the white Magic. I mean, not Magic, the white. You're talking about Kobe. You're talking about AI. We're talking about Tim, Manu, you know, all like, it's, let's Hall go on. Just, let's just go, Hall, of Hall of Famers. Just Hall of Famers. Mellow, let's go on. You know what I'm saying? And then same thing with Jordan's era, you know, Malone, Elijah, well, you know, Elijah, he snuck it in there when Jordan wasn't there, you know what I'm saying? But Ewing, stuff like that, like, it's, I just can't ignore like you got them going up against great people like that, and every single time you get to that dance, you shut them out. It's over. It's done. Nobody can yeah, say anything. No seven nobody, game series. Nobody, no seven and, game and, series. And you know it's, what? It's a wrap. No. Yeah. Not and like and that's that, not talked no. about a lot either. That's not talked about a lot. He closed them out in pretty like I think most of six games. Yeah. They, Jordan never had a seven game series in the finals. It was it was over. That's before a lot that. to say. He said nah. That, that's why it I said he's the crazy. GOAT. Like I said, it, and that's where the question becomes, and that's where I think that we can leave it there for the people, really. Because when it comes to basketball, there's no set criteria for the GOAT, and that's really the issue with this debate is because the reasoning you're fighting for your person and I'm fighting for mine and he's fighting for his is all could all be based off different criteria. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Moment I bring up three things to you, you those three things I brought up to you could not matter at all in this GOAT debate yeah. because these three things that you're saying are the things that you're basing it off of. And so, I mean, hey, I really, it's just preference. I wish there was an official GOAT rules so that way I could go ahead and be like, hey, this Winning. is the criteria. Yeah. And because of that right there, that's where I, that's why I say LeBron's such a close second. And that's why Jordan's the GOAT in my opinion. Because like you just said, that, that says something to shut him out six times. Three times in a row at that, and then doing that for two twice, two three peats. That's that's insane. I, that, that's yeah. absolutely nuts. Three two three peats is crazy. Like that's complete domination of a whole joint. But then it goes to like the LeBron thing as well, where he shook the NBA up when he went to Miami. It changed the whole landscape of everything that happened. So now certain teams are just not even in the running anymore. Because they, the stars they would have had are all going to bigger markets. But I will say in LeBron's defense, you definitely you don't get a partici- participation trophy for getting to the finals. Hell you can't. No. You, you don't get. No. You, you can't get like, woo. But also yeah. in that same breath, I st- he's won as many times as team as, as franchise. He's went more. T- he has went more times than franchises. That's something that I think people just kind of look at and they're like, eh, but he loses. And it's like, well, nigga, he's gone to the finals yeah. four times more than your favorite team. <laughs> like, yeah. He's gone. Yeah. Like he, he has gone. to Like, come on. That's got to mean something. And for me personally, the GOAT switches if LeBron gets one more ring and he go and he topples Kareem for scoring champ. LeBron scores the most points ever. And he has five rings to Jordan six. That's my GOAT. I, 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 that's the goat to me. But until oh, then, Jordan is holding that down because of his just, domination. Two three peats is absolutely insane to even think about. I've never even seen a three peat. This is for this, this is a, for one for him to have three. I mean, two. Crazy. Well, yeah, yeah, no, that is that's nah, crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. And this is the last I'll, I'll speak on on the basketball side of the goat debate and everything. Goat topic, really. And I think a lot of times. um I think Kobe really gets like shadowed a lot, like it, like his his because and and, and not even and kind of like taking out of it even like the basketball sense, just Kobe has done so many mind boggling things in his career, and it's just like insane to think about. The like literally, are crazy, yo, literally, the, the just yesterday was the anniversary from when he tore that rotator cuff and he played the whole rest of the game with his left hand. 
Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm saying, thinking it's like, and the, I can just hear the LeBron fans in the back. Oh, LeBron can do that. He's ambidextrous. He's actually. <laughs> I'm just like, but I'm like, okay, sure, yeah. yes, but Kobe is not like, yeah, like that's really hard though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I have to go the whole entire game. Not even just like I'm just playing with my left hand just because, like, nigga, your your right is your right is literally torn. That like it's hurt. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's psychotic. Like you're paying through pain. That's actually that's actually psychotic to do that. Yeah, and that, and and honestly, and that's what I was just about to say. Is like, so y'all believe that being a goat, like it leads or it can lead to a, a obsessive, like toxic lifestyle. Yes, I mean, plain and simply, yes. Possible. To be to be the greatest of all time, we're not talking about being a figurehead. We're not talking about being like the greatest of your of your time. We're talking all time. That would mean that your time would have to like entirely revolve around what you're doing. You know what? So let me let me even dive into this because I'll put it into this perspective for you since you want to talk about time. You know, it takes ten thousand hours to master a craft. Mm-hmm. So that translate into that translates to about nine years like lifespan. And that's so you think about. If you want to even talk about like um, entertainment, sports, um, like anything <clears throat> like that, you think about all the different types of people that are in like that specific field. Mm-hmm. Not even the ones that make it, because every one in ten thousand person in, in the world is actually famous for what they do, like in their craft and everything. So you think of, you think about the people that are just trying to do it. All those people are spending those same, same ten thousand hours. To try to master that craft and be the greatest of all time, because I I I, I can't believe that anybody goes into anything thinking, oh, you know, I just want to be so so at this. I want to be, you know, the best that I I feel maybe I can be. Like nobody goes into it thinking that. You want to go into it thinking like, yo, this I want to be the best at this because that's what I want. That's how that's how I wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you talk about like them hours, like. That I feel like that even gets more intensified. You need to put more than ten thousand hours in no. just to be, yeah. you know, what I'm saying ten thousand hours in a, in a month. I gotta say something about that. That right there. Here's the thing that a lot of people are missing out. Like you just spoke about, Jim. A lot of people are trying to do that. Here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. There's this is life is not a video game. There's no save progress. I'll get back to this later. Mm-hmm. But if you yeah. say ten thousand hours, they don't. I'll give you an, an example. Just plain and simply, the gym. You, it does not matter if you hit a PR on Monday. You bench 315. You're like, man, I'm about to be swole. And then you don't go back for another week. Uh-huh. You just yeah. lost that those two Every hours day. you put in. Yeah. You don't you don't put that in and then accumulate 10,000 hours. And you're like, I'm a master. Yeah. No, it doesn't work like that. It's going to take way more than 10,000 hours if you do it two hours on Monday, two hours mm-hmm. on Sunday. Uh, then forget about it for a month because you're going through a depressive sprout and then you go ahead and get back to it like no you're never you'll never be the greatest of all time like that that's why i think it's unhealthy because all of your time with the exception of like dedicated relaxing time which is very small period of time too Mm. you it has to be all about what you're doing has to be all about what you're doing and i mean i think life is more than that and that's why like i said i'm not aiming for like any level of fame or anything you know because that requires you to be involved in what that specific thing is so obsessively and there's so much more to life in general that i can't bring myself to ignore it all i feel that i definitely feel that i wouldn't want to miss out on a family for the accolade i just don't feel that strongly about anything it yeah it's it's tough because it's like you want to be the best you what you want to be the best that you can be you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? To the point where you want to be recognized as like, yo, there's nobody that can match number him. One. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. you're number one. I'm mm-hmm. number one. Yo, Smitty, yeah. uh, yo, Smitty work. <laughs> yo, <what's in> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm about? yeah, I heard. I heard so much about, yo. Smitty, yeah. Uh, dang, what is it? I gotta look that up before the show ends. I gotta look that up. But um <laughs> you, <laughs> you wanna be number one and everything, yeah. And it's just like um but it's just like, dang, man, like you think because Kobe's like that poster boy. And I'm gonna talk about another uh, industry that really doesn't get talked about a lot as far as like that obsessive, because the the reward that you read from it is a lot more lavish and you don't really see like the hours that get put into it. But before I get to that, Kobe's like the poster boy for like 
obsessive, toxic mm -hmm. mindset mm -hmm. when it comes to trying to be the greatest of all time because Jordan that literally too. and Jordan too, yeah. And because the those literally like the drive for competition literally drove them to the point where they just tapped into like a whole different type of person. And on the court, that's that's great. But then it's like you get off the court and it's like you're still that still into that's that still mode. You. And yeah. there's like no division. Now it's cool to have a division and, and a balance because a balance is key in everything. You got it, you know, the lever scales, they can't be tipped, you know, one way and, and you know, not tip the other. You know what I mean? Um, but um, and, and that's and that's crazy because it's kind of saddening because we as like spectators and fans, like we see that and we take that and we're like, yeah, you know, that's that's we want to embody that so much, but then you don't even really think about like, okay. What about the hours that I'm losing as far as um, being, you know, like one with myself, mm -hmm. trying to understand like who I am. And then also just like spend time like for your family, your friends and, you know, enjoy actually what you have gained. And that other lifestyle that I was talking about with that um, uh, branch of entertainment is is music because you hear all the time about um, about guy like rappers, artists, whatever, singers in the studio hours 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 like throughout the whole night not even sleeping i remember like hey you know how many times like you could hear a rapper like yo 100 songs i want 100 songs in one night matter of fact juice world is one of them those those type of cats too juice world uzi like all these release unreleased songs that they have like variety rich as well too i'm sure it goes for every single like artist so many songs that they have recorded that they do in the, in the night that we will never probably hear you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. that's just the perfection that they want to get on that album. Like you want that album to be, be perfection. And we say, and like, damn, like Kendrick ain't put out an album since 2017, or J. Cole ain't put out albums since blah blah blah. It's like, and they sitting there looking back, like, yo, fuck that. I'm trying to make the best album that I can. You know what I'm saying? The best album mm -hmm. that I can. Yeah. This has to be perfection, almost like it's my last every single time. Like I play like it's my last. I record like it's my last. And like I said, like. Me personally, because I have that real competitive, I want to be the best mindset as well, too. It's it's hard. Like I'm starting to realize, like, okay, maybe that's not good all the time. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's just like, you, it, 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 I wouldn't advise anybody to be one way or the other. You have to have both. Be true to yourself. Yeah. Be true to yourself. Because it, it really hurts yourself, like, having to stay in that competitive mode, like, 24-7 at times. At yeah. times. You know what I'm saying? It's like draining. Certain, certain times, it's, yeah, like it's just draining. You always exhausted because you just, no matter what, you always having to show and prove no matter what <coughs> why you're number one time and time again. Yeah, yeah, it's it costs to be the boss, and people like there's aren't no really like aware. there's no days off. No, uh, not at all. There's not one no. day. There's not one day you can rest. Nope. Every there's always day. somebody trying to. Okay. Every day, Position. yeah, that that that's the part that I think is the that's the part that I think kills me personally is the fact that exactly what you said is true. There's people, <laughs> plain and simply, if you're not gonna stay up 24 hours for it, somebody will. It is mm -hmm. not necessarily that that's Hell something yeah. you have to do regularly, but yep. that's something somebody will do. They will dead ass, wake up yeah. and start working on their craft, and they will go from day. Maybe stop for lunch and then go right. back to work. <laughs> right. Maybe take I'm a nap sleeping, I'm and eating, then get man. right back up and then start working on it again. It's nighttime now and they're still at that computer screen, still out yeah. there, mm -hmm. still still going back to the gym for the second time, for the third time that day. Like they're real, there are people really putting in work. And I, I want to speak on the music thing that you brought up as well, Jamin. Uh, Lil Peep died and there's recently yeah, a that. lawsuit. That is going out against his record label, I believe. Really? And yeah, it's because they have text messages from their his managers or higher ups at the record label providing okay. him with drugs so he can do his music. Really? Wow. Dang. They're giving him the pills. They're giving him the alcohol. They're Jeez. giving him whatever he was doing so he could continue making his music the way that he was making it. That's crazy. That's toxic. That, toxic. They cost to be the boss, right? Hey, that's here's the price. 
because to get to that level, nobody is the goat level. That's not a natural thing, for, and nobody just wake. Nobody is born and wakes just falls up. into yeah. that ability. Nobody work, just bro. wakes up and is like, "Oh wow, he is just exceptional," or "She is just exceptional" compared to everybody else for the for their whole life. Because people who even start off like that, you know, they usually get to college or they come into something else, and then they meet other gifted people, and then it's like, "Oh, I guess I got to actually work here." too because mm-hmm. they're all just naturally yeah. smart or mm-hmm. as athletic or whatever as i am but yeah. hey it costs man and it's not necessarily like like everybody said and i closed that out really it's just be true to yourself understand the cost of everything that you're wanting and be realistic with it you know yeah because you, you got to understand that got to understand you want to be the goat I'm saying you're gonna have to miss a couple birthday parties potentially. You know what I'm saying? You can't come to all the school events if you have kids. You know what I'm saying? Uh other you might miss out on a few outings with some friends. Not necessarily that they would be life changing things to do, but that's a part of life is enjoying it with your friends, you know? Do it joining with your family. Yeah, you really you might have to miss out on some of that. Fine. Yeah. You don't have to miss out on some of that. And even then even, in, um, yeah, you might not make it still. Even in um like like movies and TV. Like, um, for example, uh, Ashton Kutcher, man, when he did um, the Steve Jobs movie, right? And you know Ashton Kutcher, he's a pretty, at this point, in, you know what I'm saying, in his career, I mean, he's a pretty good actor. Like, he's, you know, pretty well known. You would, like, if you had a pick of the litter and Ashton Kutcher was one of you, you know, to be a lead role, you, yeah, yeah, I mean, give me Ashton. But fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. give me the white boy. So he when he did the steve jobs movie because you know steve jobs um in his real life he was on a strictly fruit diet now if you you know just to give like a general background as far as like how diets work and and protein is concerned you there's no protein well i'm sorry let me not say that you don't get the necessary protein you you absolutely need by just only eating fruit there are other sources of protein that you need in your body and that if you're not taking supplements to get those things at least you know what i mean mm. then you're going to very you're going to really damage yourself and that's how steve jobs passed away like his his body started like that really attacking itself at, at the end of the day so to fulfill that same role to get that same look at steve jobs this man went out and did the same shit and he almost killed himself by doing that literally just for a role you know what I'm saying? It's just like, and how many times do you hear about like actors like doing that or actresses doing that, really having to like try to get into like the mindset or like even like the full character, full embody of like who that character is, just so that way they can really tap into it and play. Like, and I think another person like that, um, even though I think his past um, kind of really like shifted him to be like that, but Joaquin Phoenix. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? When he played the Joker, um, mm-hmm. that was too much of a convincing role for me. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That was really too much. <laughs> so he that played was, it a little too good. Yeah, he did. He played that shit a little too good, Joe. And especially and the same thing with with Heath Ledger, the other guy that played that jo- played Joker. Mm-hmm. They played him roles a little too good. To and play you can the see, Joker role, bro, is that's yeah. No, to man you gotta, and not look yeah. corny. Yeah. Yeah, you do gotta be some. Yeah, you gotta tap into a whole different type of evil energy to do that. Like, <laughs> to really even pull that off. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Yeah, big boss. <laughs> definitely. And Joaquin, like I said, he lost his brother. Like he actually physically watched his brother die on the corner. You know, if y'all ever heard about that story, like with River Phoenix and everything, that was a very sad story. Definitely. So I feel like that, in turn, you know, like a lot of mental thing, you know, pre- you know, transpired after that to because he is a little, he's a little, you know, a little different type of guy. Joaquin Phoenix, he is. Um, but. Like I said, getting into that mindset just so that you can be the best you can be, like some, like even that right there is a very toxic thing. Just going back to the Ashton Kutcher thing, like I, I would never advise anybody put yourself in a, a situation to almost end your life because you want to be the best Steve Jobs you can be. It ain't that serious, mm-hmm. yo. We we gonna remember him anyways. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I didn't even see the movie. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't, I I don't never, know if y'all saw no, that. I didn't, know I, Steve Jobs. I didn't even I know, know that he was. I didn't even know he was doing that. <laughs> Yo, see, I didn't and, even know he was doing that. And to be honest, I, I don't think it was really like I could be completely wrong. So don't you know, don't quote me on it or nothing like that. But I don't even think it was really I think it was like one of those indie type films, you know what I mean? Oh, so wow. 
I mean, I think it was in the theaters, but I don't really don't think it was like heavily published. Like I said, I could be completely wrong. I didn't see the movie I, at yeah, all. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't even know this was a Bro, movie. You could have told me that movie was just coming out. Yeah, and but, I wouldn't see. Known. And it's just like that that type of like you, you putting yourself in a situation like that. Like, damn man, you got a whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like you just went from I remember when you was doing, dude, where's my car? And now you're doing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Now you're putting your, your life at risk <laughs> to do a Steve yeah. Jobs movie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, and it's almost like at that point, this is um like the next question that I would have for niggas is like, when you are trying to be the greatest of all time, or even maybe like, cause I, I think I feel like at some point in time, um, you as a person, you kind of like get the sense of like, okay, you know what? Ain't no right, ain't nobody is really messing with me right now. Like I'm, you know, I'm really at the top of my game. Like I'm, I actually might be the greatest of all time. Like at this, you know what I'm saying? But then. Is there any type of satisfaction? Like, can you are you even allowed to settle for satisfaction? And like, how hard is it for you to step away because you know that there's a potential for somebody else to come that come through and and show you up or overcome what you have done? You go ahead, Juan. It's it's just a very it's a very interesting standpoint. Um, like even just thinking back on what you said about the Heath Ledgers and and Joaquin Phoenix. That's that's very interesting because to really break down how much time you have to continuously like doing that, you know what I'm saying? Like no like like we said, no rest. You know what I'm saying? No rest, just every day you're the same role that you're trying to portray or yeah, copy or image. That's a lot. Um but but for me, when I was thinking of like entertainment, um, I was thinking of like I said before earlier, like um, when it came down to like Michael Jackson, like he was always even from a young age, you know, he was always in that number one limelight, mm-hmm. you know, even from Jackson Five, you know, being like the 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 lead, you know what I'm saying? So it's like always being even even. When it comes to a standpoint now for him it could be different i wouldn't say like they he had to like hurt himself or was going crazy to beat his number one because he was still a kid but still putting in the time as a child and also still trying to have a balance as a kid of fun but maybe he did you know what i'm saying have fun maybe he didn't have as much fun as he could mm. due to the position he was at that time so look like like I said, just even like looking at that standpoint, going through all your life, all your life, you know what I'm saying? Missing out on opportunities of day-to-day activities because of this number one position you're in. And it's just, it's just a lot to think about. 